Hey, hey, good morning everybody. It's Larry and it's Monday, September 21st. You know, I stopped making videos for a little while. I started last Friday, talked about goals, and it's always been my intention that these videos will be something that will encourage you, something that will um, give you hope, help you uh, make it through the day and do good at your job. And Friday we talked about goals, and um, Friday night I got home <clears throat> and I received a phone call, or I received a text, I'm sorry, stating that one of our employees had been found deceased in his room. Um, he had been missing for a couple of days. We had made phone calls, not able to get a hold of him. Uh, Carmen even said, hey, can we do a wellness check on him? And I said, well, I don't even know what that is. What does that mean? They said, we send the police by to see if he's okay. And he wasn't. So Kyle, who worked for us in Kingman as an installer, passed away sometime Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. We don't really know anything more than that at this point here. So I'm actually this morning at, a, at the graveyard. And that's my grandson's grave right there. He died December 16th, 2016, after being very sick. And it's really hard to lose someone. But I want to share with you guys this morning a Bible verse. And the Bible says, It is better to go to the house of mourning than to a house of feasting, for death is the destiny of everyone and the living should take heart. You know, these are supposed to be encouraging videos, and today I want to encourage you to examine your heart, to think about this kind of stuff, because one day we're all going to pass away, one day we're all gonna stand before our Creator and have to give an account for our lives. We're not all perfect, none of us are perfect. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, but the Bible also promises that the gift of God is eternal life, and it's just a gift. God gives us eternal life if we trust His Son, Jesus Christ, as our Savior. I did that October 2nd, 1988. Changed my life forever. A lot of you guys, all you've ever known is this, this Larry here. But the young Larry, Larry before he became a Christian, was a long-haired, drug-dealing, cussing, blasphemous, bad person. I uh, didn't care about anybody but myself. And that changed when I met the Lord as my Savior. Today, or already, Kyle stands before the Lord giving an account of his life. And one day you will too. So this is a very serious video, and I'm going to ask you guys today to take account. And if you're not sure, you don't know what's going to happen when you die, I would love to talk to you uh, about what the Bible says and so forth. So guys, I really do appreciate you, and there's probably nothing more important than what I just said in this video in your life. Um, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for doing your hard work. The living have to continue living. So let's go out, make it the best day we possibly can after hearing this kind of news. Um, I do appreciate you guys. Thank you for all you do. Have an awesome day.